Tell us about what you're writing about this morning today. Yeah, so like you were saying, mm -hmm. an, yet another developer got a core ordered um, liquidation um, to, to be liquidated and it's called Jiayuan International, yep. but what makes this case really unique from the previous two that we have seen is this company actually had launched uh, public efforts to restructure its debt, whereas previously Cynic and Yango, neither of those companies really had put out any efforts in the public realm. Mm. Um, so what this company had done is it, it launched exchange offer long ago in, in August, and um, it just couldn't reach the 90% threshold that it wanted to get that pass. And, in April, it scrapped that and said it's going to explore holistic uh, restructuring instead. But all of that was not enough to convince the court when the judge handed out her order. She said the so-called restructuring um, is not a concrete proposal. It's an idea put forward by the company. So really, this is what restructuring lawyers are telling us. This is a wake-up call to the other developers that they cannot be complacent. They cannot just think um, they can abuse the process and, you know, bite the time. So time Time is of the essence here. We know that a few other developers, like Evergrande previously, really its whole restructuring progress was pushed forward and made faster because of its own liquidation lawsuit as well, and so did Sunak. Um, we have a few others coming yeah. up. So Tell us what the next test yeah, is going to be. Yeah, so um, the next one will be Logan next week, so I think it's um, May 17th for us to Hong Kong listed units. Um, but this is another company that had been in talks with its creditors. But it hasn't put out anything in public, like a full proposal. We have reported on some of the details, but will that be enough to convince the judge that it has material progress as the judge has wanted? We do not know, so we'll find out next week.